Welcome back. Uh, April 30th, three week hive inspection time. This is hive two of my three pound Saskatraz queen package install. Like I said, three weeks ago. Um, things are getting really green here in northwest Wisconsin. I was actually able to mow part of the yard this morning. Um, beautiful day, the end of April, almost May 1st. Uh, let's dig into this hive. We're going to do a thorough inspection on week three here and see how the hive's doing. Got a little bit of syrup left, not much. Put a gallon in about five days ago, and uh, it looks like they're still taking quite a bit of it. Them all smoke, trying to get them down from inside this top feeder. Well, it looks a little different than my first hive. I've got two identical hives here that I installed the same day, same type of bees, same amount of bees. Uh, that hive one has about six, seven frames of bees as of right now. I just looked at it. This one has mm, one, two, three, maybe four frames of bees, which is more of what I would expect. I think the other hive is just way further along for whatever reason. A lot stronger package, I guess, when I installed it. First frame here, blank as expected. Again, using all natural beeswax foundations. Uh, just what I chose to do according to the book that I read when I first started looking into this. Yeah. A lot of people say that they prefer, prefer the all natural beeswax foundation versus the plastic wax coated. And that's why I went with them. It made sense to me. And the third frame in, we're seeing about a third of this frame drawn out with comb. Not a whole lot. This side, they're already cramming nectar into the three quarter frame filled out here of comb. Starting to get in some bees here. Expecting more work to be done. Here you can see they got about half of this drawn out. Full of nectar, full of pollen. This side is just loaded with pollen. 
It has some capped honey also. Very, very gentle bees. I've only been stung one time and that's because I crushed one under my arm. Other than that, these bees do not bother me one bit. Here I've got a lot of cat brood, a lot of new comb, and this is a plastic foundation frame. This is one of the only frames that I had that had a little bit of comb started on it. So that's why it's in here, so that they could start on this one. But lots of cat brood, lots of pollen. Same thing on this side, only more. And you see the cat brood. Lots of colorful pollen underneath it. Cat tawny up on the top. This is uh, exactly how it's supposed to look, according to my book. Um, I am a new beekeeper here in Wisconsin. Never handled bees before. But from what my research shows me, they're doing pretty good. I would love some feedback, though, from anybody as to what I should be doing or if I should be doing anything else. This frame is completely drawn out, full of larvae and eggs still no queen don't really need to see her but I sure would like to same thing on this side lots and lots of larvae and pollen and honey I don't know if you guys can see this or not So far this hive is looking a little weaker than my first hive, but still doing very, very well, I think. They have produced a lot of nice comb. I've got one frame of brood so far in this hive, which is not as much as I have in my second hive. Actually, hive one has more brood. This frame is full of eggs, so this is going to blow up. You're going to cap. They're going to cap all this off. It's all eggs and pollen. Well, let's look for the queen again on that one, since I've seen so many eggs. Still eating the pollen patty pretty well. Lots of good drawn comb. Some pollen. No eggs in this one. Lots of nectar. Same thing on this side. They're drawing it up good. They're starting to produce or put some nectar and some pollen into it. So next would come the eggs, I would believe. They're still eating on that pollen patty even while I'm bugging them. I haven't done much on this frame at all. Nope. All right. Well, we're going to freshen up the pollen patty here because they are still eating those very well.
Oh, I am not supposed to move the frames one by one like that. I just learned that. There's less chance of smashing bees if you try and push them all together at once. inspection. My Saskatrash Queen seems to be producing pretty well. Not as much as my other hive, but pretty much is what is expected. I'm going to give them another pollen patty here. A bit more towards the cluster this time. And a couple scores and a couple presses. We do have a few dead bees in this one, a few more than the other one. Down at the very bottom of the feeder cap. I'm just going to give them a little bit more and go through and clean these out, I think, in another day or so. Well, that's it for my inspection. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see or if you want to follow the progress of these eyes, please subscribe. And I will try and get something out every week. Thank you.